why do you guys do what you do? It sounds kind of bizarre, but um, I'm sure you know as, as college graduates, you have a lot more opportunity to you have a lot of opportunity out there to s succeed and you know basically take a career path. What made you guys decide to choose to do what you guys do right now? Actually, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I couldn't find a job out of school, so I ended up DJ. I'm serious. Really? Yeah. Like this, Blue Scholars picked up faster than any other career thing I tried to sort of pursue. Really? That's my story. But anyway, we um, applied what we learned on the campus, both in and out of the classroom, to what we do. I'm a, I'm a history major. He's an econ major. And the same with me. Um, when I declared my major at the department, they were actually tracking. Everyone that declares history, they try to track you into going to grad school to eventually teach it. Yeah. Um, and they try to do that with me, and that, that might still be in the cards uh, later on down the line. What kind um, of history did you study? Uh, I didn't have a, a spe specific uh, area of discipline. It was, uh, well, they, they force you to take mm -hmm. half your credits in American history, mm -hmm. um, but then I, the rest of the, the credits was all over the place. How'd you get involved, Ryan? I, I did not graduate university. I have to make that clear. Oh. Me neither. <laughs> Yeah, he, they, they actually didn't graduate. Yeah, long I'm story. I'm the only nerd that did. Yeah. But I did attempt to study graphic design uh, at a community college. Does that count for something? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I was just interested. Um, Blue Scholars have been around, I guess, technically since 2002. Okay. And Common Market has been around since 2005. Okay. And, and what distinguishes those dates are, like, physical releases. You know, once we establish the Common Market identity. I met Sobs right when they were in 2002. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, right when the Blue Scholars thing was taking root, and um, yeah, it, it just sort of grew, developed, and, and blossomed from there. He gave me some th throwaway beats, <laughs> stuff that wasn't going to make the first, com uh, first Blue Scholars record, and those ended up going on a solo project of mine. Then we started talking about doing something that, that stemmed from that, uh, and that's what ended up being the Common Market record that we have. We released independently in 05 and then re-released it on Mass Line. That was the first official mass line release in 06. Okay. And do you have any side projects at all, by chance? Yeah, we're all working independently on music. I mean, that's, that's something that you just do as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, so whether it's a collaboration, you know, as like Geo from Blue Scholars or Ross Cyan of Common Market, um, it's an extension of, of the work that we all put in as individuals. Or whether we call it something completely different, like Victor Shade. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's, it all stems from the same thing, and that's, that is going all the way back to being fans of music. That's what inspired me to create music was, uh, you know, the effect that it had on me. And I know that's what inspires everybody to actually create the way that it does, whether Saab said, you know, he ended up making music, uh, you know, as like his plan B. But I know well, he- As a job. I would always make no, 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 it yeah, anyway, yeah. but- no, At this level. Yeah. But I mean, you have to put in a lot of work too. It's not like, uh, it's not like you just create the art and then, you know, you become successful. So, so yeah, making it a job, uh, oftentimes is, is also an extension of how much you love creating the art, right? Because if, if you do just create art for, for a hobby or create art for art's sake or just because you really love it, you hear that a lot. You, say, you hear an artist say, well, I just I really love what I do. I love making music. If that's, if that's the only reason that you make music, then be satisfied with that. But when you start to feel like you're not, you're not being successful like other people are successful or you start measuring success by somebody else's standards, then it gets complicated. And then you have to work to achieve what you want, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people who just sit and complain about, well, I can't get anywhere. Um, sometimes they don't have the right tools to go where they want to go and sometimes they just don't have the desire to do so. But it is hard work. Mm -hmm. So there right. you go. I've got a question for 